Good morning, friends. This is a fun little morning flow that includes some of my favorite moves to tone and trim your belly and your butt, your hips and your thighs, and very important, it keeps your low back happy and safe. This practice will help you release stress and tension that tends to accumulate in your low back and in your hips. It builds core strength uh, to help support your low back and your whole spine, which will help you prevent future low back pain from ever troubling you. It's a really great practice and I hope you enjoy. Before we begin, if you enjoy my classes, won't you please click the subscribe button, click the like button, and please consider becoming a Patreon member. Patreon gives me vital support that I really need to continue making these videos, and it gets you access to exclusive content like live stream events, like the one I just did this morning, uh, full one-hour classes, and a pretty cool book club where we learn more about yoga and about what it means to be human, right? And we do it together. It's a really great community. If you're already a member, thank you. And if not, I welcome you to check it out. So for practice today, we're going to need a couple props. I recommend a small folded blanket. You can use a uh, beach towel or a small blanket and a couple of yoga blocks. And if you don't have yoga blocks, you can use any block shaped object that will support your weight. Let's dive right in this morning. Place your folded blanket at the back of your mat or near the middle of your mat rather. And you can place one block kind of in front. And we're gonna start in Malasana squat or primal squat, sometimes it's known as. So bring your, get into a squat position, heels lifted, feet a little wider than the hips here, and then place the heels down on the blanket. Now, if you feel that's a struggle, it's a little too tight in the hips, you can raise the platform up underneath the heels. Uh, block in front of you. And we're just gonna rock back and forth like this, nice and easy. So the feet are angled a little bit out, but not too much, right? And just rock back and forth like this. You can close your eyes. This is a really wonderful stretch in the hips and in the ankles. And it's really healthy and therapeutic for the low back. This gives our low back space to breathe. It helps to lubricate the, the spinal discs and give, give us a sense of space and length in the low back. So breathe into the low back and hips here. And this rocking motion is also very calming to the nervous system. So feel your attention and your awareness gathering more to your breath and to all five senses. Feel your senses come alive in this moment so that you're fully present. And then coming to stillness, grab your block and you can hold your block out in front of you as a counterbalance, resting the triceps on the knees here Sit up nice and tall, so lift and broaden across the heart and the collarbone. Lift the crown of your head, and again, feel the low back starting to lengthen and open here. And then it's your choice. What do you wanna do here? Roll the head around. You can even bring the block up and rest your forehead on the block. Breathe and relax. And again, feel your attention and your awareness resting gently on the breath. Feel the sensations of breath entering the nose, filling the lungs and the whole body with life, energy, oxygen. Yeah, and 
and slowly rock forward. You can place the block off the side of the mat as well as the blanket. Come down to the hands and knees, tabletop. Curl your toes under and lift your hips. Push back, downward dog. Let's take a few breaths here. Pedal your feet. Bend one knee and draw the opposite heel down to the mat. Feel that beautiful stretch down the back of the legs, especially in the calf muscle and the heel. The heel. Hmm. And then coming to stillness, take a great big breath in. Open mouth, exhale. Ha. <sighs> Bring your feet together, inhale, right foot back and up to the sky, three-leg dog. Exhale, right knee into the chest, squeeze it in, shift forward and step through between your hands, low lunge. Keep the deep bend in the front knee, inhale, take the hands up to the sky, crescent lunge. Engage through your left thigh and your left glute muscle, feel them nice and firm. As you exhale, slowly twist open to the right, reaching back with that right hand, open across the heart and the collarbone. Look down to the front foot, left hand inside the front foot, right hand up to the sky, gaze to the lifted hand. And then swim that top hand forward a little bit, arm alongside the ear, spiral the right pinky finger in, and reach long straight line from the right fingers through the right, he or the left heel rather. Exhale, both hands come down, frame that front foot, and let's curtsy, left knee behind the right, wing the arms back. Inhale, step tall at the top of your mat, right into some squat waves. So reach up, palms meet overhead. As you exhale, bend the knees and draw the hands down to the heart. Keep the spine nice and tall, upright, until you're way down in like malasana squat, and then fold forward and wave it up. Let's do that with the breath. Inhale, rise. Exhale, bend the knees, squat deep, and fold at the bottom, wave up. Inhale, reach. Come down as you exhale, bend, and then fold at the bottom. Inhale, rise. Exhale, squat deep. One more time, we take it up. And exhale, one more time, we take it down nice and deep into a squat. This time, fold forward and stay in the forward fold here. Halfway lift, and as you exhale, step back to plank pose, a nice long and strong plank, wrap the elbows in, firm the low belly, and let's come down to the forearms for forearm plank. This is an amazing core and full body strengthening exercise. It just works wonders for <laughs> supporting your spine. So. Make sure your butt isn't lifted here. So bring your butt down so that the spine is in the form of a plank, nice and long. Reach the crown of your head forward, the heels back, push into the elbows, and firm the belly. Squeeze the thighs and gently squeeze your glutes. And breathe, don't forget to do that. Hold for three, two, one. Exhale, lower the hips and thighs right into sphinx pose. Untuck the toes. Move the elbows maybe a little forward underneath the shoulder. Spread the fingers wide. Inhale, lift the heart. And as you exhale, draw the shoulders back. And imagine pulling the hands and the elbows back towards you. They're not actually moving, but it's just this gripping, pulling back action that opens the upper back. Couple breaths here. Breathe, relax into the upper back. And exhale, slowly come down, hands next to your low ribs. Bend the knees, heels into the butt. We're gonna do five slow push-ups on the knees. Inhale, push up. And as you exhale, just lower as low as you can. Inhale, push to come all the way back up. That's one. Exhale, come down. Inhale, rise for two. Exhale, down. Inhale, rise for three. Two more, exhale, down. Inhale, rise for four. You got this, one more, exhale. And inhale, come up for five, and right back to child's pose. We go, beautiful work. Take one breath here, feel into earth energy, and come forward, tabletop. Curl the toes, lift the hips, down dog, feet together, and take your left heel back and up to the sky, three-leg dog. Exhale, left knee into the chest, squeeze it in, shift forward, step through between your hands. 
Inhale, sweep the hands up to the sky, crescent lunge. Again, check, deep bend in that front knee and the back leg is long and strong here. Big breath, reach up. Exhale, slowly twist open to the left, reaching the left hand back. And keep twisting until you feel it. <laughs> and look down to the front foot, right hand inside that front foot, left hand up to the sky. Spiral the heart, open gaze to the lifted hand. Swim the top arm forward until it comes alongside the ear. Spiral the left pinky finger in and really reach as you extend into extended side angle pose. Exhale, both hands come down, frame that front foot, low lunge and curtsy, right knee behind the left, wing the arms back. As you inhale, step tall and strong mountain pose, reach into the sky for another round of squat waves. Palms come together, bend into the knees, sit down deep into a squat and fold forward at the bottom. Wave yourself up. Exhale, come down, keep the spine tall into the bottom and fold. Wave it up. Moving with the breath. Feel breath and energy, life energy moving through the body. Every cell waking up to a new day filled with new possibilities. One more, let's rise. One more, let's take it nice and deep and fold at the bottom. Inhale, halfway lift. Step back, plank pose. Again, elbows close to the sides, firm the belly in plank, and we come down to the forearms for another round of everyone's favorite forearm plank. <laughs> Press into the elbows and forearms so that you feel that pressure extending into the earth beneath you. Round slightly through the upper back and draw the navel in toward the spine. Lower your butt and extend the crown of your head forward and heels back. Breathe into the midsection here and gently engage the thighs and your butt muscles. <laughs> Breathe into all that good stuff and hold for three, two, one. Lower the hips and thighs, beautiful work right into Sphinx pose, untuck the toes, lift the heart, and exhale, push your heart forward, draw the shoulders back, and imagine dragging the hands and elbows toward you to get more extension and love into that upper back. <laughs> mm, feels good. Exhale, slowly lower, hands alongside the low ribs, bend the knees, and five more push-ups on our knees. Here we go. Inhale, push up. Exhale, come down. Inhale, we rise. Exhale, down. Inhale, rise. Exhale, down. Two more. Inhale, take it up. Exhale, come down. And one more. Inhale, push it up. And back we go to child's pose. Let's take a couple breaths here in child's pose. Relax. Bring awareness to your breath, to all five senses feeling present and alive in this moment, fully here right now. Inhale, come forward, tabletop, curl your toes and walk yourself back into Malasana squat here. Now, if you want the blanket underneath your heels, once again, wonderful, you can place it there. And grab your block, Hold it out for a counterweight. We're gonna do some block squats and they look like this. Holding the block out, push through your heels. Rise up as we inhale, reach over your head, big stretch. And as we exhale, we come back down, keeping the heart lifted here, spine tall, all the way down into Malasana. Hold a couple breaths. Here we go, ready? Let's take it up, push into the heels, rise. Big breath, reach and stretch. Exhale, nice and slow and controlled. We come down and let's hold here. Feel it, breathe into the hips, breathe into the low back. Here we go, push into the heels, rise up. Exhale, we come down nice and deep, Malasana squat. And let's hold for two solid breaths here. Relax your face and your jaw. Inhale, rise. 
big stretch at the top. Exhale, come down. Feel this in the shoulders too, huh? Yeah, it's full body workout right here. It's so good. Push into the heels as we take it up. Big breath and a big stretch. Exhale, come down nice and deep. We settle and relax for a couple breaths. Inhale, push through the heels, rise up. And exhale, take it down nice and deep. This is our last one. Let's make it count. Feel the shoulders. <laughs> I know you do. And inhale, push into the heels, rise up. Big stretch. And exhale, let's come all the way down once again. And this time, we place the block on the ground. Maybe shake the arms out here. <laughs> and walk your hands back to tabletop. Let's take child's pose for a couple breaths here. Ground, settle. Feel the centering, grounding quality of earth beneath you. And sit back to your heels. Okay, let's move into a really glorious little sequence here to strengthen the glutes and the core. Really focus on those muscles. So the first one is glute bridges with a block. We're gonna use the block to squeeze the block between the thighs. So come down to your back, place the block between your thighs as thus. <laughs> Feet or bring your heels in just so you can touch the heels. Lie the head nice and easy and relax through the upper body. Push into the heels, lift the hips just enough to get a nice straight line through the hips, through the knees. Don't push so high that you're arching your back, right? Nice straight line. Then at the top, drive through the heels gently, extend through the knees and squeeze the block between your thighs. Not too hard, not too crazy, gently. And as you do that, squeeze the glutes and hold for four, three, two, one, exhale, butt comes down and we take it right back up. At the top, push through the heels, squeeze the block, squeeze the glutes. Four, three, two, one. Beautiful job, we come down, right back up. And at the top, push through the heels, squeeze the glutes, squeeze the block. Four, three, two, one. One, come down, starting to feel a little warmth building in your butt here, that's good. <laughs> come up and push and squeeze. Four, three, two, one, come down. Nice, just a couple more. And all the way up, push and squeeze at the top, squeezing the thighs and squeezing the glutes. Four, three, two, one. And last one, we come down and rise right back up and at the top, push through the heels, squeeze the thighs together and squeeze the glutes and hold for four, three, two, one. Come down, place the block off to the side, hug the knees into the chest. Do you feel your glutes working, my friends? So good, okay. All right, feet come back down. Again, close enough to touch with your fingertips. We're gonna work into ab crunches, but we're gonna do this in a way that keeps the low back safe and happy, okay? And they look like this. Head and shoulders lifted, hands to the thighs, and you're just gonna take little baby crunching motions with the belly to reach up toward the knees, or maybe even past the knees. The motion is little tiny like this, okay? We're gonna do 10, here we go, 10. Nine, really focus on the ab muscles crunching. Eight, seven, six, slow and controlled. Five, four, three, stay with me, or just do as many as you can. Two, and one, come down. Awesome job, tap your belly. Little shake and shimmy here. Okay, now we're gonna a similar motion, we're gonna work into the obliques, these little happy little love handles down here, okay? So lift the head and shoulders, and this time, we're going to reach side to side toward the ankles, feeling it in the obliques. Okay, here we go. One, 10 each side. Two, three, again, little baby motion here. Four, 
Five, try to reach as far past the ankle as you can. Six, seven, head and shoulders stay lifted. Eight, feeling it now, right? Nine, and 10. All right, come down, tap the belly, shake and shimmy. Excellent, excellent work, okay. One more, this is a variation of yogi bicycles, but again, keeping the low back safe and happy. So usually yogi bicycles, we take both feet up in the air, we're not gonna do that. One foot stays down all the time. So the right foot stays on the ground, and as you exhale, right elbow to the left knee, squeeze the elbow and knee together, and then nice and slow, we come down, left foot on the ground, and switch. We're gonna do 10 each side, here we go. Exhale, right elbow, left knee, squeeze, and come down, switch. That left foot is on the ground, and come down for one, beautiful. Make contact, and switch for two. Right elbow, left knee, right foot is down. Switch, left elbow, right knee, for three. Right to left, and left elbow to right knee. For four, good job. You're feeling it, I know you are. Right elbow left and left elbow right. For five, halfway there, just do as many as you can. Right elbow left and left elbow right knee. For six, right elbow left knee and left elbow right knee. The opposite foot stays on the ground for seven. Exhale as the elbow comes to the knee. What is that, eight, <laughs> I think, I hope. It's okay if we do an extra one, right? You don't mind, that's nine. And last one, there we go, 10. Don't worry if you couldn't do them all, right? Tap your belly, you just do as many as you can safely and with a smile in your heart. <laughs> okay, <laughs> breathe, shake and shimmy, and guess what, folks? It's time to stretch, it's time to relax, so keep the right foot on the ground, left ankle to the right thigh, flex that left foot, and draw the right knee in towards your chest. We'll stretch out the hips here with a little figure four. You can interlace your hands behind the right hamstring or clasp in front of the right knee or the shin. Takes it a little deeper. So you choose what works for you. Close your eyes, breathe, let the whole spine, shoulders, low back, hips all come down to the mat. Hmm. And switch your Rooney. Release the hands, left foot comes down and the right ankle to that left thigh. Draw the left knee in. Interlacing your hands wherever they feel comfortable for you. Close your eyes and breathe. It's okay if you feel a little fidgety in a stretch for the first breath or two, but allow yourself to slow and relax. As you exhale, release the hands. Let's take a great big stretch. Reach the hands overhead, toes in opposite directions, big breath. And exhale, just allow your whole body to melt. Mm. And then slowly work your arms back to your sides for a sweet Shavasana. Nice and short and sweet, enjoy.
And begin to bring some wiggles to your fingers and your toes. Roll your wrists and your ankles. Great big breath, reach your hands overhead and stretch from fingertips to toes. Exhale, knees into chest and roll to your right side. Push yourself up to a seat at the top of your mat and bring your palms together at your heart. Let's raise our thumb knuckles to the point between our brow and we bow to one another in light and love. Namaste. Thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed that. Wishing you a beautiful day. If you're in my book club, your homework, I'm reminding you, is to go glimmer hunting. If you're not in my book club, glimmers are just little sweet moments throughout the day that bring a smile to your heart, right? They could be little things like the smell of coffee in the morning or a bird, hearing a bird on your morning walk or feeling sunshine on your face, right? But we have to actively look for them. And so I'm asking you to be present uh, and to be mindful and look for the little joyful things today and see what opens up for you in that practice. It's really powerful. And uh, welcome a little gratitude into your heart. I love you lots and I hope to see you really soon.